What's up everybody today we're doing something a little bit different we're gonna do a tournament vlog we have a big challenge coming up pink elephant so you guys we're gonna go to pink elephant today and we're gonna play my charizard dx deck guys i'm gonna show you the deck profile then we're gonna jump in and talk about all the games then finally we're gonna show you all the pricing we got spoiler alert we did pick up a couple of packs as pricing Guys, make sure before we continue, subscribe, like, support us, help us. We're trying to become amazing at Pokemon and really bring you value in card games in general. But we really are going to focus on Pokemon now. And yeah, enjoy. All right, guys. So here's the deck profile. We're going to take with us three Charmanders. Two, one of them is going to be the 17. Two of them are the 60. I think we're going to start testing something like two 70s and 160 and see how that feels. We also have the Charmeleon really strong ability at one. Then three of the Charizard DXs. A lot of people are only playing two. I think still three is necessary. Two of the Pidgeys at 50 HP. A lot of people are starting to run the 60 HP. Uh, we're gonna see if we're gonna need it. And from there we're gonna, we're gonna need the ability. From there we're gonna make a decision. I think we don't need call for family anymore. Nest balls and body poffins are just so good. And I think the 60 HP is just going to be necessary because you're susceptible to getting Deskloss. And of course, to the Pidgeot EX, no need for explanations. Two Duskulls, I actually prize these a lot. So this is very necessary. One Dusclops can really change games and Dusk Noir really nice. Uh, absolutely, this setup right here can change games. Uh, Luminion, only a one you don't need anymore. One Fizendipity, one Rotom, and then one Radiant Charizard. Really nice uh, set right there. That's all my Pokemon. Moving on, we have the stadiums. One Collapse Stadium. That's it. No more Collapse anything else. Then we have the Defiance Band. Only one Defiance Band. Then we have the Force Seal Stone for our tool. One Force Seal Stone. And then now we have items. And we're going to go through them. Unfair Stam is so necessary. This is actually what helps you win games. So what happens usually is you get into an equal position with your uh, opponent. You have a Pidgeot, you are able to search into some stuff later on. So if he does kill your Charizard, you can get another one. But what is going to get you ahead is that you unfair stamp, you Iono him. Every time he he thinks he, has, he draws the prizes into his hand, he has to toss them away. That's how you get ahead in this matchup, in this meta right now, in this format. And so unfair stamp, you need this. You don't need prime catcher, you need the unfair stamp. Lost vacuum at one. Uh, Raging bolt, really nice sometimes. A lot of matchups can be very useful. You, A lot of people are opting away from it. I still need it at one. It's really nice tech. Night stretcher is really strong card. Really, really, really good. Can pick up Pidgeot EXs, can pick up Charmanders, Charizards. Uh, another Dusk, La Dusk Noir, so you can Evo into it. Very, very strong. Counter catcher at two. We're gonna run the Counter Catcher at 2. I really like the Counter Catcher at 2, especially with the Dust Call. I can fix numbers and fix prizes so I can go behind if I want to, so I can start activating these Counter Catchers. Two Super Rods, necessary, you cannot play the game. I mean, because we're running, if you're running six energy, I think you only need one Super Rod, you could actually get away with that. But because we only run five Fire Energy and one Mist, you're gonna need two Super Rods. Three Nest Balls, I really like Nest Balls. Nest Balls is really strong. You pick up Fizendipity, you pick up, um, what is it called, the Rotoms. Very, very, very good, very necessary. And if you kind of block early with no Buddy Poffins, they will save you. Four Buddy Poffins, I don't know why people are playing three. It's so good. You pick up all your Duskulls and Pidgeys, it's amazing. Ultra Ball at four. Rare Candy at four. And now we're gonna go and move on into our supporters so here's for the supporters we have one research this could be a Thornton we're gonna test it out we're gonna see if it's useful or not if it's not useful then we're gonna throw it away one Briar two boss really strong two boss two counter catcher is gonna be our combo today two Iono two Iono one unfair stamp really strong four Arvin and then we are gonna run one miss with five energy that's it guys let me know what you think about this deck and let's go into the matchups. Let's go! Alright guys, so for game one we went versus Apakia V-Star. We were able to play off really strong. We were able to start off ourselves going first. And then we had Charmander in our hand, so we just put in the Buddy Poffin in the Pidgeon, the other Charmander. 
It was a great turn, great start. The Palkia had a great start as well, was able to put in the Greninjas, and his whole board was set up with Palkias. He also had a Duskull at the front, so he can uh, get rid of it and not have to take any damage, and also set up another Duskull so he can start activating this Dusk Noir. We were able, on turn 2, to go into a Charizard EX. Unfortunately, guys, we only had Duskull as the option to KO. We didn't have enough damage, and I don't think we were able to get into a Dusk Collapse to get any of the Palkias down low enough to get the KOs. So we were just able to get uh, rid of that Dusk Collapse, whereas my opponent went into a Palkia V-Star, was able to pop off his V-Star ability. Unfortunately, only getting two energy, couldn't get the third energy on. But that's not a horrible deal. You still can get your big attack. And with a Dusk Noir combo, he was able to actually get rid of our Charizard. Moving on, we got Pidgeot. Now in the front, we moved it backwards to, to stall with the Charmander. Charmander can also do a small attack now that we attach the energy on it. And that's really what we're going to opt to do. We're just going to go ahead and set up another Dusk Lops and attack with the Charmander and lower that Palkia. We couldn't Evo. We didn't get another Rare Candy, so we couldn't Evo into a Charizard. Moving on, guys. We got the Palkia now. He has a Palkia attacking. It's only going to be the Palkia that's attacking. He might be able to set up another... Uh, Greninja or a Palki in the back, but it's going to take him a couple of turns because he can only attach one energy per turn. So very slow turn for him. Sets up a third, second Duskull and goes into the uh, attack and kind of uh, kills our Charmander. Now our Charmeleon is ready to Evo for our fourth turn. So we're able to Evo with Charmeleon into the Charizard EX. We set up also a Charizard in the back, a Radiant Charizard. And we were able to get out the Palkia V-Star from the board. Now the opponent is going to have a very hard time. He does have a Fizendipity that allows him to draw. But he doesn't have the energy acceleration that's necessary for this deck to be to get ahead. And it looks like he doesn't even have a Palkia V-Star. And that's how we took game one, guys. Alright, guys. For game two, we went against the Guard 4 EX. He was able to go first because he won the toss. And he was able to set up a Spirit Tome, which really slowed us down. Now, he did get the two Ralts down, which is amazing for him. This is exactly what he needs. And so, we were struggling a little bit. We could, we had our Luminion Rotom, but we couldn't activate them. So, we just kept them in hand. Unfortunately, though, we did have a Buddy Poffin. So, we were able to go into Pidgeot, Charmander, and Pass Turn. Our opponent was able to go into Refinement and add a second, a third Ralts now. Two Refinements and a third Ralts. But besides that, the Gardevoir deck is a little bit slower, so it does take some time to set up. So he couldn't do anything that turn. He only got two Psychic Energy and those Gardevoirs on the board. Uh, sorry, the Kirillas on the board. Now we won't move on to my turn. We were able to get a Pidgeot EX Evoed. And I believe from there we're going to be able to also get a Charizard EX. And from there we were able to start killing off his refinements one by one. Now he does get a second, a third refinement out, even though we killed his first refinement. So he got a third refinement out. But, uh, and Spiritome was on the front, but I believe what we did, besides that, he really couldn't get anything off for this turn. Took advantage of it. And we went after his uh, Gardevoir EX. Unfortunately... His Screamtail was the only available attacker, or Mimikyu. He had a Mimikyu or Screamtail, he could have done either. And he chose to go for the Mimikyu and only did 70 damage, which makes sense. He thought he could stall me out. Unfortunately for him, I had another boss ready. And we were able to boss in his big Gardevoir, and we knocked it out. Now we're at three prizes, and our opponent is basically sweating. The problem with that turn, Gardevoir really needed to gain value when he evolved into a Gardevoir EX. He needed to gain value and KO the Pidgeot or the Charmander. And because he couldn't do either, Charizard or the Pidgeot, he actually fell a little bit behind now. Moving on, guys. His Mimikyu is in the front, but doesn't scare us. He's going to try to set up a second Gardevoir. He does actually set it up and uh, moves back. And was able to attack with the Screamtail and leave a lot of damage on the Pidgeot EX. So really, Screamtail would have been the better choice, I believe, over the Mimikyu. The Mimikyu was a nice stall, but it's easily countered with the boss. Now, Screamtail, uh, I don't know if we actually deal with him. No, we don't. We actually boss in, again, <laughs> a Gardevoir. This was our last boss. We only bossed twice. So we're able to boss in his second Gardevoir and uh, KO it. And now all he has is a Mimikyu on the front. And it's very simple for us. All we had to do was Dusk Noir his Mimikyu, and win the game, guys. So that was game two. 
Game three, guys, was a very rough game for me. We were able to set up with a couple of buddy poffins, but our hand had a briar in it and a super rod and really empty, and I think a boss as well. So after setting up those double buddy poffins, we passed, and our opponent was able to set up two raging bolts, and after that, we couldn't evo at all. We could never get an evolution out. Even, even though we had the Rotom to activate, I think we activated the Rotom for two turns in a row. We can draw into anything we needed, unfortunately. It was just such a bad start for us, and our opponent was able to just take advantage of it. Uh, throughout the game, we really weren't able to Evo at all, except towards the end. Now, I believe I did misplay a little bit. I believe Thornton could have helped me out a little bit in this matchup. And I believe I could have played Defiance Vest a little bit better or manipulated the field a little bit better. Thornton would have uh, opened up the game for me. And it was just an unlucky game. We had a Fizzendipity in prizes and our dust, second Duskull was in prizes. And we really didn't have any control over the board. And we just couldn't get ahead at all. So Raging Bolt was able to get it. Even though I think we had a strong matchup against it, Raging Bolt was able to take us down. It was just very bad draws. All right, guys, for game... Four was the final game of the day. We're Charizard versus Charizard. Very fun tournament, guys. I had a lot of fun. For the final, it was a great game. I was able to pull off my buddy Puff. Our opponent was not very fortunate. He was able to pull off a Rotom and get some draw. And he had the Duskull on board, but he couldn't get more than one Charmander on board. So we were able to actually get off Nuts hands and we had a boss i believe in our hands so with the pidgeot's held we were able to get into a charizard and then boss in his charmeleon and you would think that was game over but what he did after that was that he thorned into the cleffa a charmander and because the cleffa was already on board he was able to evo into a charizard amazing plan there that's where I actually didn't know Thornton can do that. I looked it up online for some reason. They said it cannot do that. Now it turns out that you can do that with Thornton. I believe Thornton is 10 million times better than I thought it was. Now that I know that it can do that. It actually can evo the same turn you play that basic Pokemon. So you can really catch people off guard. And that's how he actually was able to come back. Because besides that, he didn't have any more Charmanders on board. Now he did uh, set up another Charmander and Pidgeot and Pidgey, so really strong turn for him. And he started putting a little bit of damage on me earlier than me, so really strong there for him. And uh, all I was able to do was, I believe, chase his second Charmander again. And that was unfortunately not the right idea in my opinion, because he was able to just KO my Charizard. And then uh, after that, he was able to just have full control. Now, all I had to do was remove his Charizard for turn four. And we were able to remove his Charizard, unfortunately. And unfortunately, we couldn't get the attack to KO the Pidgeot. And so we actually fell behind in the race and we could not come back from it. It was one to one and he was able to KO me to win the game. Great tournament, guys. And yep, that was it. All right, guys, and for the prizes, we were able to pick up these three play prize packs. We're going to go ahead and open them. One of them was already open. I actually forgot, and I forgot while I'm in the tournament. I opened it, and I forgot that I was going to open it for you guys. So let's just show you right here. Kirilla into Revrom, into Nest Ball, into a Lost City, Foil, into Green Energy, into the Metal Energy. Not horrible opening play pack series four. Let's look at that. Let's hopefully get something good. Super Rod into Electrical Generator. Research. Ayono, not bad. Switch. And the basic Psychic Energy. And then finally, guys, we have a play pack series five. Some of the players got some Series 5, some of them got Series 4. I was a little bit lower, I only got 4th place, so I got Series 4. But yeah, we got an Ultra Ball, Counter Catcher, Garganossal, a Mew! <laughs> Let's go, baby! And then a Jirachi, and that final energy. Nice! We did get the Mew, guys! Really good! Guys, expect more of these content, expect more of these videos, expect more of these vlogs. I think we'll get better and we'll uh, make better content, I promise you. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace!